Mama Cat. George? Hello, my fellow snippers. My name is Marlene McCohen, and I want to welcome you to Parent Tip Tuesday. Today's video is going to be about bird toys, because everyone wants to know what their birds like to play with, right? So today we are going to break it down for you, including all the ways to make your own bird toys, as well as different ideas for toys for your birds. Today I have with me Picasso, my mustache parakeet. I have Jersey, my umbrella cockatoo, chilling in the background. And I have Cody. Hi Cody, do you wanna come say hello? Cody's over here on his stand. Oh, he smells so good. And Vinny is actually here. You probably hear some crunching in the background. That's Vinny chewing up his box, something which we will get to in a little bit. Let's go over the toys that you can buy from stores. How do you acquire toys for your birds and how do you know which kind of toys your birds like? Some of you write to me that your birds don't like toys at all and I know that can be frustrating, but do you know that there's many different types of toys and maybe you just haven't found the type that your bird is most interested in? So I'm gonna break it down for you. These are my categories of toys for your birds. The first kind of toys that you can get for your birds consist of wood. Lots of birds enjoy chewing on and destroying wood. Wood toys are excellent for larger parrots. However, lots of toys are made out of wood for smaller parrots. So let's look at this toy for example. All these beads and all of these little stairs, they're actually made out of wood. See, Cody's really excited about that. Cody loves wood toys. That's something that Cody is very interested in. So if you have an African gray, your bird may love wood, but all birds are different. So it's really important to get to know your bird. Rocky loves wood toys, but for Rocky, he gets toys made out of larger pieces of wood. And I'll show you more about that in a little bit. So this is a good example of wood toys, but there's many other different types of toys made out of wood. What if your bird is not interested in chewing up wood? Well, some birds love beads. You guys know, you've seen it in my video, Picasso loves beads. That's something that he enjoys a lot, as well as Jersey. So your bird may be interested in toys that are a little more glittery, have a little bit more shine, something like a young four-year-old might enjoy playing with or making her bracelets out of. Sometimes birds really love beads, and maybe you wanna try bead-based toys for your parrots. This toy, for example, has small little beads. Picasso really likes beads like this, but I don't think he would notice these right away. Picasso's more interested in actual beads. Beaded toys quite often have beads like these. You'll notice, I know you've seen that my birds like to play with them. They're very hard plastic, very hard to break. A lot of you ask me if my birds will swallow them. This is an important subject to go over. First of all, these beads are quite large. It'd probably be impossible for them to swallow to begin with. If you look at Picasso, you can probably see. Let's see if I can get you to see. You see, that's not something that Picasso can swallow. But it's really important to note that these are the beads that are on parrot toys when you buy them. So my birds just chew them off, and then I also give them beads like it and make new toys made out of the beads. A lot of birds love beads. They love the colors. They love to see if they can break them. They love the hard plastic. Now, for those of you worried about swallowing beads, these are too large for my birds to swallow. If you think your bird has a problem where he is trying to swallow the beads, you should be careful. But in general, birds chew things all the time. They chew plastic, they chew wood. They could really swallow anything by accident. So if you feel like that is something your bird is doing, you should be careful of that. But Picasso, if you look at him, he's very into beads and we will get more into this exciting tray in a little bit, but right now I am losing Picasso to the beads. Oh, Picasso also likes wood and he loves yellow. So right now 
he is playing with a yellow wooden bead, which is very popular for Picasso. Cody actually likes purple. You wanna see the purple one? Yeah, Cody likes purple and blue. So right now we're going over the toys that you can buy from stores. So we went over wood, we went over beads. The next thing that you can get on Toys for Birds are bells. Jersey loves bells. She loves to play with the bells and the inside of the bells. It's really exciting to her. Jersey's such a girl. She loves the beads and the bells and Picasso loves the beads. So get to know your bird. All these silver bells and pieces on toys that are silver, both Picasso and Jersey love. Interestingly enough, they fight over the same toys. Picasso likes bells that are a little bit smaller, but Jersey loves the inside of the bell. She likes to play with it. And Vinny also likes to ring bells, but he likes to ring the solid hard bells that also Rocky enjoys playing with. And for those of you who are curious about anything that you see in this video today, I'm gonna have it in my link below under products that I love. So check it out. You can go online and order anything from there that you find interesting. And I will put descriptions in there too of things that I buy and why I buy them. So that will help you a lot. If you think your bird is into silver, which a lot of birds are, then you can get some bell-based toys. They'll of course break the bells off, but um, I mean, that's what they're there for, right? The next thing that you may find on a bird toy or your parrot may be interested in is paper. Paper is amazing. It's great for foraging toys. It's great for foraging in general. You can put paper around bird's food, hide bird's food. I think we did that in last week's video on taking your bird outside. That just happened and that was pretty cool. You'll see paper in a lot of different things. Like this is what you call a foraging perch. And your bird stands on it but he can get busy with all of this paper, which Cody seems to be very interested in. I find paper to be the easiest thing to get your birds to like. Birds love chewing up little paper pieces. Anytime I've wanted to keep my bird busy in a pinch, just a piece of paper or like even a paper plate would do. It doesn't matter as long as they're chewing up. This is where boxes, paper, mail that comes to the door that you're not interested in. You probably don't need a shredder if you have any bird like Picasso or Vinny. Cody's really enjoying this actually, so I'll probably give this to him and put this in his cage. He likes it, that's so cute. I just got this out of the toy box now, so I'm excited to know that he likes it. You may have a bird that is interested more in jewels. If you have one of those birds that like is always at your rings or earrings and things like that, that's the kind of bird that would definitely enjoy toys with a lot of bling and silver in them. Do you wanna play with this silver thing? He's kinda of interested in that. That's just a ring by the way, just like a simple ring for the toys which can be just as entertaining for your birds, surprisingly. The next thing that your parrots may love are reflective toys, mirrors. Some birds really enjoy mirrors. Vinny enjoys mirrors. Cody obviously enjoys everything that I am playing with. I don't know him to like mirrors, but he's liking this right now, right Cody? Vinny loves mirrors. He loves to look in mirrors. He has in his cage mirror that is like a four-way mirror that hangs that he can just push and play with. Vinny loves that. So your bird may enjoy reflective toys. That's another type of toy that you could include in your group of toys that you let your bird play with. What do you think of that Cody? Are you handsome? Yeah, you're kind of handsome, right? Hey, this is really good, guys, because Picasso's right here, and they're not freaking out, because usually Picasso would bully, but I think Picasso's interested in all the toys here, so it's good for bonding for the toys to be in the same area. Here's another thing that your bird may enjoy, and you can actually find this on a lot of bird toys that you might buy and that is fabrics. Now, I should say, you have to be careful with fabrics due to cloth impaction, so you wanna make sure that your bird isn't trying to swallow any type of fabric, always be careful with that. But some toys have really cool leather pieces and other fabrics that are interesting. If you find your bird interested in chewing up towels and things like that, and you're sure that your bird is not swallowing them, then you can do a lot of things with different types of safety 
safe fabrics. It's always important though to make sure that the fabrics are 100% cotton. That's the best thing you can do to make sure that your parrots are safe. So what we have just covered are parrot toys that you would find in a bird store or online. The obvious things that you may buy for your parrot. What I want you to get out of that group is that there are many different types of toys that parrots love to play with. But there are other cool ideas for parrot toys and we're going to go over them right now. The next coolest thing that you can get for your birds, and I love this. This is something I thought I came up with, but I wasn't the only one with this idea. I've been doing this for my birds for so long because in my head, this was the safest thing that you could do for your parrot. And here it is. Baby toys. Baby toys are amazing for your birds. Look how cute this is. One, they're colorful. Birds love color. Two, they're pretty much safe because nobody wants to give their baby something dangerous. And three, some of them can be very interactive. So toys like this, we love to play with Jersey. Jersey, we love to have her take these off and put them back on, and we make a big deal when she does anything with it. You can teach your birds colors. They're soft plastic always. Soft plastic is really important because it's easy for birds to chew, so they really enjoy that. What do you think, Cody? Do you wanna pull the top one off, the orange? Good bird! And the great thing about baby toys is you can go to a store like TJ Maxx or Ross or Marshalls and get them for a really good price. Here's another baby toy I love for the birds. These rings you can do so much with. You can piece them together in so many different ways. You can hang them like a toy. You can hang other toys on them. They're safe, they're a harder plastic, so it takes them a lot longer to destroy, and it definitely does keep them busy. Cody really loves his baby toys. On the subject of baby toys, I love these for my birds. Let me show you. This is a bucket of pantry items. Inside you find things that you would find at the grocery store when shopping for, you know, groceries, except it's all plastic. It's for little kids to imagine themselves cooking dinner or whatever little kids do, but I buy this stuff for my birds. So you'll see they'll have like strawberries, they'll have a whole chicken, you know. I can use this to show my birds what could happen if they don't behave. Right, Cody? Just kidding, baby. Just kidding. So they play with these things. They have lots of different shapes. They have like fake potato chips. They also have fake french fries. For some reason, the french fries are always a big hit. It's easy for them to hold. There's lots of different shapes, lots of different sizes, and most importantly, they're really lightweight. I'll tell you why that is very important to your birds. So baskets like these are excellent. They often come in their own container, so you basically have your own bird box, and it's easy for them to chew, it's safe, it's another baby toy that is excellent for your birds. With that being said, I have seen birds on our Parrot Station, that's our Facebook group, playing with xylophones and pianos and all sorts of things. So you can really engage with your parrots and get some great videos and entertainment with baby toys. So baby toys are always a really good option for your bird. Next is the do-it-yourself toys. So you guys saw this box. Let me show you this box again, and I'll show you a close-up of it too. This is in my drawer. The case originally held something like the pantry toys. It probably was an old version of the pantry toys, and I turned it into holding my beads and wood blocks for the birds. This is where I go to to make my own toys for the birds. So let me show you some things that I have ready all the time for me to make bird toys with. First of all, I have these sticks. You probably saw me with these sticks before. It's just sticks like these. They like to choose colors and hold them. They're wooden sticks. I can do lots of different things with them. This is a toy from Amazon. It's got some leather, so it's got a little bit of the fabric, the wood, the beads. And these things are kind of like smaller versions. This is something I could make myself with my own sticks. 
Also, I got from Target, and I'm pretty sure you can order these on Amazon. I'll probably add this to my link below. These are little wooden balls with holes in them, which is awesome for putting together your own toy. I have these kind of wooden ones, and look guys, this is a toy also from Amazon that I buy a lot. Very similar, it's made out of the same exact thing. So essentially, I could make my own ladder or whatever I want with these toys. Of course, in my collection, I have the good old plastic beads that I love adding to their toys. Do you guys like that? I found out that my birds love this color, so I got them this color of all the beads, which is so interesting because there is a bird that collects all of this color in the wild. So I thought it was kind of funny that they do like this color. So sometimes I just go buy them the colors that I know that they like instead of them fighting for it. I also have little bells. So I have jingle bells that I can attach to their toys if I want to. With the bells and the wood pieces and the beads and all of that, I can make my own toy. Here's another great thing you can buy to make bird toys. This is a big bag of wood. So if I was to make a toy for Rocky, I would use this large bag of wood and some rope and make toys for Rocky out of something like this. These are so great to have on hand. I love making bird toys. I got a few different shapes. See, these ones are bigger sticks for Rocky, and it's really fun. You could actually have an arts and crafts night and have people make bird toys for you if you feel like it becomes work, because we all know that they destroy them so quickly. Now, this guy brings us to our fourth option for bird toys revamping old bird toys. So this is kind of going along with the do-it-yourself bird toys, but we're gonna use old materials. So let me give you a great example. This is a brand new bird toy. They've already got at it because, you know, while we're making this video and while I was setting up, they're pretty excited. It's a ladder, I love this ladder, I buy it all the time. The reason we buy this ladder so often is because one, they love it, two, it makes the bird section look really cool, especially when we've attached the tree in the middle and put this. It just looks like a birdie wonderland. So we use this a lot, but I wanna show you something really important. As beautiful as this is, they are going to chew it and they're going to destroy it. And there is a chance that it is going to end up looking like this. This is dangerous. You can't leave this hanging in your bird room or on your perch. You always have to be aware. You always have to keep an eye out for how damaged something is. Take it. You don't have to do anything with it right away. You can revamp it later. So let's talk about how to revamp bird toys. So I would take something like this, put it aside for when I'm ready to deal with it because at that moment, I may not want to take it and revamp it, but I definitely want the pieces of this to maybe make it again. For example, out of that, I could get something like this, this wire. This is a great wire for bird toys. And on that note, all of the little hooks that you ever find and get with your bird toys, like these types of hooks, these types of hooks, and especially all of these little D-rings. I think they're called D-rings. I don't actually know what they're called. You always want to keep these, save them, and put them together for future toy revamping. George's nieces came over and they knew where the toy box was. This is a very bad example and very old because the birds loved it and they got at it. And they asked if they could make a bird toy. So if you know any kids in your life that are really artistic, you can help them by giving them the pieces and beads to make bird toys. This has already been taken away because it needs a little more revamping vamping now and you never want to have like wires hanging for too long. You want to make sure that it's always in the safest way. But you can do little arts and crafts and have kids make something and then you could fix it and put it together yourself. So that is something that you absolutely can do. Guess what guys? I have tools. So these are my tools. I don't know where I got them. One day George said, oh by the way those are your tools and I'm like okay. And then I learned from doing my bird toys that these are really cool arts and crafts toys. 
You can have things in your box like these wires and you can break them with this and cut them and bend them. Always save things like these. This was holding a bird toy. You need things like these. These are nice strong pieces of metal that won't bend and they're not able to be damaged. And with that, with these tools, you can open it, right? I don't know. Yeah open it and you can put some new beads and things in and you can make a very nice and safe bird toy and after you do something like this whatever you want like real quick things you can attach this to something else you can put on bell at the end you can do whatever you want i'm just doing something really quick for you guys right now just to get an idea of how important it is to save all these pieces then i have my tool no idea what it's called and I broke it, but okay, hold on. I have my tool and I can bend it. There we go. So now I bend it safely and then I can put a little ring on it, whichever ring fits. Most of the time you'll have lots of different things. These are great things to keep. I could put one on each side and make a swing. Like, look, there's so many different things that I can do with this. I'm putting this ring on this. Let's see how this works out, right, Cody? This ring will enable me to put something like this. Okay, that's a little exaggerated because this is really big. I know I had a smaller one I just showed you guys, but something like this, really quick toy. This is really small. I just wanted to show you how you can revamp their old toys using your new thing things that you always have on hand. Beads, wood blocks, wood balls, paper, you name it, you can do so much. You can take little balls like these. I have a pack of these balls that I use for Rocky and look at what you can make. Really, you can make so many toys yourselves. These little rings, they're just little plastic rings that you might get when you put a quarter into a machine. Reminds me a little bit of this pacifier. This is Cody's pacifier. If you watched my baby shower video for Tracy's baby shower, we hung those on the trees. Cody loves that. He gets so busy with this pacifier. I could hang that on a toy. There's so many options. Let's get into the makeshift toy. Now let's talk about the spur of the moment toy. You're busy, you're hanging out, you're with your bird, but he needs to be occupied because otherwise he's going to, I don't know, eat the keys on your computer board. That is when I have little tiny toy boxes on hand and I keep random things in there. Like for example, pen caps. Of course they're clean, no ink was spilled in these pen caps, that's very important. Cody is like totally left because of this toy box. Things like pen caps, can be really interesting to your bird and can keep them busy for a moment or two, at least enough time for you to get something done. Same with caps from water bottles. It's just hard plastic. Some of it is actually soft plastic. It's really made out of the same thing that lots of birds toys are made out of. Caps from bottles can always be a really great thing to save for your birds. If you have larger birds, you could keep the caps from shampoo bottles and such things, but you always wanna wash them thoroughly if you feel better or you could put them all in the dishwasher and give them like a real good high pressure rinse as long as they don't melt in there, then you're good. These are things that I love to have on hand. Old shoelaces, things like these. You keep things like these. These are also amazing things that I can just put beads through or again these types of things jersey loves this type of stuff and you see he's enjoying all of these toys there's so many different types of things how about a straw hmm. let's see if he's gonna enjoy the straw are you gonna enjoy these straws any of these stand out to you green wow just simple it's a straw it's something that i have on hand and guys when all else fails you can literally give your bird a paper plate to chew if i gave this to Vinny right now where's picasso Oh, because it's up there being a good bird. Little things like paper plates, you can poke holes in them and hang them and put beads on them. You really have so many options for toys for your birds in your own house. My favorite thing to do though is to keep a little box everywhere that I hang out of different things for my birds. Tiny little boxes, I'll have like a few pen caps, a few water caps, some other beads and toys, and then I will just use that to keep my bird busy. So if I'm on my computer and Cody's on his play stand next to me, he's not just standing there bored, otherwise he's gonna wanna destroy so many different things in the room. So it's always good 
to keep your birds occupied and have available things for your parrot. So start thinking differently in terms of what can I keep and what can I save. It's a great way to recycle. You could save a lot of things for your birds that your birds will enjoy. In fact, if you notice your bird destroying certain types of things, then see what you have in the house similar to that and save those things for your birds. Another thing that I like to do with my birds you might have seen Rocky's laundry video. Rocky loves baskets. If your bird is hormonal, this may not be a good idea, but some birds love to hang out in baskets and boxes. I should mention boxes as a category of their own because Vinny can be busy with a box all day long. He just loves his boxes. He loves the FedEx man. He loves the UPS man because to him, they're bringing him a new prize package. So that's very exciting too. Vinny, there, he took the plate, you can't see him. With something like this, a basket, some birds like fabrics, you can throw different items. Here's something else that can be very interesting for your parrots that you can save around the house. So you can put some fabrics in there for, uh-oh, he flew to the drawer that holds the toys. So as you can see, this basket's all chewed up because there's some birds that love hanging out in baskets, namely Cody and also Rocky. For Cody, I put actual toys in the basket and let him play in there. All just sorts of different toys. For Rocky, I put fabrics in there. He actually doesn't chew up the fabric at all. He doesn't swallow or chew it, so I don't need to worry about that. He just gets really excited about the fabrics and he likes to throw them around and throw them out of the basket and pull them in the basket. So that's something that Rocky likes to do and it's a real good idea for keeping them busy when you want them to be next to you, but you need them to be a little more occupied with themselves. So I really like giving them baskets. Just make sure you are not stimulating their hormonal behavior. So if it's certain times of seasons, then be careful with that. If they're at a certain age, be careful with that. And also if they're getting aggressive towards you because of the basket or the box or anything that you give them, that's when you know and you gotta watch out. But if your bird is enjoying it and hanging out, Cody just stuck his head. Cody, why can't you do these things for the camera? Look, Cody's sticking his head down there. Now, before I go, I wanna talk about a few hazards that I think are very important pertaining to this video. Oh my God, oh my God, I wish you guys, look. What are you doing? You're totally like upside down right now. Trying to immerse yourself in all the toys. <laughs> purple, yeah, you got the purple? Oh, that's Cody, look at this. This is like a wonderland for him right now. You like that? Purple again, you love purple, huh? Yeah. So, <laughs> come here baby. Putting your head in there, you're so funny. Before I leave you guys, let's talk about some potential hazards that could be dangerous to your birds when making toys. Very important to talk about. You may or may not have considered these. One, do not put loose items in your bird's cage that are heavy, especially if you have more than one bird. So for example, things like these, light, hollow, they're really easy and great for your birds. But if you have more than one bird, it's not a good idea to leave a large wooden block. Sometimes I give Rocky these blocks that have like A, B, C, you might have seen them like square blocks for Rocky to chew on. If there were multiple birds near Rocky, I wouldn't give him those because there's always the risk of the birds dropping things on one another. I've heard of birds getting concussions or dying because some bird dropped another thing on their head. So be very careful with all of the loose toys that you may have in the bird's area. Two. We went over this, but it's really important, of course, to remove all of the wires left behind. You don't wanna leave anything that looks like this for your birds to get strangled in or hurt themselves. And I know that it looks like there's still what to do, but they can always hurt themselves and strangle themselves. Three. 
You want to be very careful about any strings that you have hanging for your bird. Make sure they're all serving a purpose. So don't hang anything like this in a very lazy way because they can fall, they can catch their leg on it, they can be hanging upside down, they can choke themselves. So that is also very important. Four. Cloth impaction. We want to be very careful of anything that has fuzz, cloth. If you see your bird is chewing up those cozy corners, those fluffy things that birds like to sleep in, be very aware of that. We don't want any birds to have a buildup of cloth in their intestines. So make sure whatever you let your birds play with, it's always made out of 100% cotton. And if you notice that your bird is prone to chewing these things a little too much rather than just hanging in them, be very aware of that. And the last and very important thing I want you guys to remember is if you see your bird enjoys playing with certain things around the house, you might think, hey, let me create more of that. But you still want to be careful of things like wires and stuff that they chew like on keyboards. It might feel to you like, well, I have a spare keyboard. He already chewed it. Why don't I just give it to him? Or why don't I give him a bunch of old wires? You have to be really careful of lead poisoning and metal toxicity. We have gone over that in another video. If you want to learn more about that, just a hazard that I want you guys to be aware of. I hope you enjoyed this video. I really enjoyed going over all of these things and having all of these toys out. One last thing I would tell you, it's always great to have a toy box. I have a large box here filled with all sorts of toys. Some I haven't put out yet. Some I have. I like to do a rotation with the birds. So sometimes I'll pull things out that aren't completely destroyed and put them in a different bird's cage or surprise them a little bit. I want to keep them 100% entertained all the time. So thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe, like, and comment on this video. It helps motivate me to make more videos. Please let me know what your favorite part of this video was in the comments because I love those types of comments. If you're interested in anything you've seen here today, check out my link below called Products I Love. I'll have a lot of information on there on things for birds. I think you guys will enjoy it. And please come join Parrot Station. It is my Facebook group for parrot lovers where I can see all of your birds because I want to get to know your birds as well. Follow me on social media. Come say hi. If you want to see what these naughty guys are up to all day long, follow me on Instagram at Marlene McCohen and you will see a lot more of these naughty little babies. I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching. Bye.